Good Tuesday morning, everyone. We have quite a few long positions. Once again, they keep triggering. Like I said, as long as they're triggering, as long as this market's uptrending and or moving sideways like the majority of the indexes are doing, I'm taking the long signals. Are they great? Are they beautiful? Are they loaded with max green bop from the start of their base in December to their move now like an LPLA? No, but they're good enough. The reward risk ratio is there, so we're taking them. First new long position for Tuesday, LPLA. LPLA is an earnings winner, a la NOW. And if you don't remember, you can buy the gap up. Look at BRTX. PXLW back in February, PRCP back in February, and there's many others that I can't think of. Soda back in November, but they work. Don't be afraid if they're gapping up. They're gapping up because of an earnings win, and that's a legitimate reason to buy an extended stock. But LPLA, extended earnings winner. Bullish hammer reversal candle right off the previous day support, which would have been Friday session on above average volume with BOP confirming the move. LPLA used to be a can slim quality stock. It is not anymore, but it's still a perfect speculator scan stock for stocks priced above 40. Now, normally the perfect speculator scan the top quality ones want stocks over 50, but I've noticed some break out at 40 and run, and by the time they hit 50, there's no entry point, and then they go to 100. So LPLA was in that pre-perfect speculator scan, and it was also in my new 52-week closing high scan. So 2% for perfect speculator, 1% for the new high scan, total 3% position. Want to go long at 42.73 limit order. The reason why the limits at the closing price is because the 5, 10, 20 are all extended from the current price. First cut loss level, 41.76. It hits 41.75, I'll be out of half. And then if it hits 40.16, I'll be out of all of it. But LPLA earnings winner and that's similar to NOW on Friday which also happens to be an ad signal on Monday NOW as you can see another bullish reversal hammer candle candle over candle pattern volume surge from the session before and bop moved higher from the session before so total confirmation on this ad signal with NOW NOW was also in my new 52 week high closing scan and also made my price volume bop surge scan so 2% for cancel quality 1% for new highs 1% for price volume bop half it since it's an ad signal so it's a 2% of my account capital long position first cut loss level once again 9294 then second one 9121 final one 8903 i have to readjust it so i'm actually writing myself a note right now it just stops i think i already did but i just got to check to make sure same with cmls got to check those two off the top of my head and then the third signal that is high quality and the second new long signal coup this was flagged in this must have been put in my cancel scan for some reason it's a higher priced ipo uh more liquid stock so maybe it'll be a future cancel stock maybe it was i don't know but it was in that scam but it's not anymore so ignore that so this was initially flagged in my ipo scan and it was confirmed in my max green bop for five days scan so i definitely want it especially um, considering that it's a higher price IPO and it's got a nice long base here. I definitely want it, especially following this a secondary offering. This is how its secondary offering went. That's super bullish. So when I get long, COUP Tuesday morning using a limit order of 28.19. My first cut loss level will be a move below 28.17. It hits 28, or excuse me, <laughs> excuse me, 27.33. It moves below 27.33. I'll be out of half. My final cut loss level is 26. So if it hits 25.99, I'll be all out of it. So it's where the green bop is. It's my support levels. But this is probably my best looking overall long setup considering the high potential reward to hit this old high, this old high, this old high, and then possibly turn into a trend following new high signal compared to its inherent risk before we know that we're wrong. And then also two speculative positions, AUPH. Uh, this one's gapping a little bit higher after hours. 
So I, I think it's at 755 or something like that last time I checked. It's pre-market now, so who knows where it's at by the time you're watching this video. But I only want to work a limit order at 738 because it is a large mover speculative. This was only in my max green bop for five days scan. It was not in any other scan, but I love this technical setup. Um, this is a beautiful consolidation pattern. You can see the low volume in the base, the big tall green bars, clear accumulation, the tight price action, and now it's coiling right off the 50-day moving average. So here's an example. If this base, let's say, was going sideways like this for a couple more weeks but looked exactly like it does, and the bop was max green here, and the volume characteristics were the exact same, and this move that we're seeing today, like I said, came from two more weeks where the 50-day, 5, 10, and 20 were all on top of the price action, and it happened to be a pocket pivot point signal, that would definitely be a stock that I would want to load up on or really push it, even if it's speculative. But as it is, there was really no volume cue signal for it. It was only in the one max green bop scan. So technically it's supposed to be 1% of the account capital. But since it's not perfect, uh, the 5 is above the 10, the 10 is above the 20. So, you know, it, it seems like it's kind of ready, but it's not perfect. So it's supposed to be 1% of my account capital. I would not do that. The most I would put is 0.5% of my account capital. And I really, really, really like this stock. I can't lie. Like I said, if Max Green Bop was the whole way and if this base was just one or two weeks longer, I would really like it. But overall, as a standalone signal, it's great. But I, I don't know. There's just something that keeps me away from it. And like I said, it's gapping higher after hours anyway. So we'll see if I can get a position. And then PYDS, by the way, A-U-P-H, if I do get a position, uh, for what it's worth, I would be using a limit order at 738. First cut loss level will be 7, 676. Final cut loss level here, 642. And then the final um, signal is PYDS. This is an ad signal. I just got a new long signal. What's funny on 427? What's funny is that I got filled at 151 on the 28th. But if you look here, um, it shows no shares traded. Uh, that's funny because I got filled that morning at 151 don't know what they did with my shares but it didn't show up can't remember what it was a, a few hundred i know that much i think it was like 500 600 700 shares i'm not sure what it was but either way there should at least be a seven or a six or five up there so that's kind of weird but i'm already long pyds despite what that volume says and then on monday i have an ad signal here Pocket pivot point signal off the 50-day moving average, a strong volume surge. Volume is just barely below the 50-day moving average, so the stock was not confirmed in my tertiary scan. But very, 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 very nice move, PYDS. Want to um, add to it, limit at 157, and then I'll continue to use the same stop levels, 141.32. Profit targets are the 200-day moving average, then 199 then 265 and then after that I, I i don't know but we'll see i don't i like i said it'd be a miracle if it gets up there this would probably be best case scenario but still i want to try i want to see if it can't get to the 200 day moving average and that old high but pyds pretty nice signal vii the recent ad the long position that same day here's the new long signal kind of gave a half ass signal today but i'm not taking it PYDS was a pocket pivot point, and that's why I'm taking it. So AUPH is my favorite one, but the, probably the safest one, the highest chance to work is COUP. But LPLA and NOW are the highest quality earnings winners. So once again, a little bit of everything, but not everything in all of them or any of them. And that's been the case basically for the last nine years. So get used to it. All right, everybody. Good luck out there today.